close up, the pattern didn't make any sort of sense. It fanned out around an axis point, a kind of focus to one side. And there it was, decoded by the curves of the chalice, the image of a church. I found out what the chalice was for. You've solved the puzzle? Yeah. There was a distorted picture at the Baphomet site. When I viewed it in the polished surface of the chalice, it changed. What did it show? A picture of a church with a square tower. I guess I'd better return the chalice to the Countess. Hurry back, Georges. Hi there, Lopez. How's tricks? Senor Stobart, how pleasant to see you. You are well. Fine, thanks. Is the Countess in? She is waiting for you. I will show you up. It's okay, I know the way. Senor Stobart, I feel I owe you an apology. No, you don't. I was impolite on our first meeting. Look, Lopez, just forget about it. I came on like a snake oil merchant. I wouldn't have trusted me in your shoes. You do not understand. Finding the chalice has given my lady a new lease of life. It's a marvel. She smiles, she laughs. The tradesmen are saying that she is on Prozac. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stoba. It was a small mirror hanging over the sink. Senor Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please, sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Why? You've had it cleaned. Yeah, I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knight secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Ah, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcelos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. What are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32.7, Corinthians... I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible, chapter and verse. I meant, what are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest.
I'll have a look around if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please, be my guest. Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. Very well. Let us begin. The first reference. Psalms 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding place. Don't get your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay. John 4, 11. John 4, 11. Here. The well is deep. The next. Uh, quickly. Okay, okay. Uh, Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is will bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns, what's it mean? I can't guess. Salient points seem to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is the mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything pertaining to the estate. I'll have a look around if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, si. I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Conchelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? See, si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great. So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Well, you must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard, so that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stoba.
The candle had burnt brilliantly, but only for a couple of minutes, some kind of special formulation, I guess, and had yielded up this, a complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. The main part of the house was old, but nowhere near as old as the gatehouse section. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. Senior Stobart, you've... you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. 
That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. From a distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senor Stobar! Senor Stobar! Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, Susto Miras Dada! You gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars. I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. Now I knew what I was looking for. It only took a few moments to find it. And there it was, a worked socket, as smooth and perfect as if it had been carved only yesterday. I slid the stone key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials. I heard the sounds of the lock moving. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head.
I must have made a mistake. The lock spun back to neutral and nearly took my fingers off. I was going to have to start from scratch again. Oh, yes! Uh, bonus points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stobart finger work wouldn't let me down. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. George, welcome back. Come in, George. It's good to see you again. Is it? Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. The clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, Andre? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell Andre what else you found, George. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Georges found that in a cave in Syria. 
Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Cat-like reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. Well, uh, the Latin phrase are the words of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place, inhabited by blue-painted savages. It hasn't changed much. Well, they've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh... You can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? André, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, André? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of, uh, well, can't you guess? Nuts Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. I can't go. Andre, you've been loads of help, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I was? We understand you've got commitments. Oh, listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and, uh, don't worry about us. Where are you going, George? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me! If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L-E-A-K. Tickets, please. Oh, hi. That's a standard full-price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. My ticket is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. Blimey, you're a funny old bird and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Off to Stirling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty of pubs and a lovely view from the castle. Thank you. I don't want to worry you, but there was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm, maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. Can't you sit still, George? I need to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, George. Unthinkable though it is. I am hungry enough to eat English food. Okay.
security for the hotel. Guido. Well, he didn't scare me. Hey, Buster. This is a no-smoking car. Okay. Maybe he did scare me. It got worse. I suddenly realized who the conductor had reminded me of. Ankle. Marquis. I should have known better than to leave Nico and the old lady alone. Suddenly, the sword of Bafama took second place to finding the girl I loved. Hi, having a party? No, this is British. Come and join us, man. We're Basha, we're up, man. We're company. His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate, he's talking a nap, sleeping like a bobby. I'd wait him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. Did you see what happened to the young woman in the next compartment? No, Paula, didn't have you lost her like? She's disappeared. The old lady, too. I think they're in trouble. How oh, we yeah, man, an old lady, too. Yeah, you gotta help me. Maybe they went to the toilet, like? I don't think so. They never go on their own. I was in pairs, you know? No, she's been abducted, I'm sure. I've got to go look for her. What's stopping you, pal? The conductor. He's not what he seems. You want to avoid him, like? That's about it, yeah. No problem. See you later. Give it to it, pal, to a jump! I don't intend to jump. I'm going to climb on top of the train. You're kidding, aren't you? Just watch me. Hold on now, pal. I'll get your hand like. my chance. You saved our lives, but why? We were always on the same side. Stobart, different causes, but a common enemy. The Knights Templar? Don't call them that. The real Templars were a noble foe. These Barbarians have no right to that name. These men are no better than dogs. What are the Neo-Templars after? What is the Sword of Baphomet? Not what you think, my friend. It is a weapon, yes, but one which our enemies will find difficult to wield. A double-edged sword. A power older than Timole, older than Solomon. We'll stop them. You and me together. And Nico. No, George. My journey ends soon. At the Garden of Paradise. You're talking in riddles. Can't you tell me straight what they're after? The sword symbolizes a colossal energy caused by the alignment of the Earth's natural power fields. Which are focused at St. Ninian's. The energy endowed the Templars with the power which made them great. A power which made them charismatic to such an extent they could control the will of all around them. How did you escape from the bull's head? It is a long walk from the cliff of the bull to the village, Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. May Allah guide you to our enemies. Thanks. One last thing. What? 
What is it? He's dead. Don't worry. I hadn't forgotten about you. Answer me this instant, Jean Stobart. I will. When I'm ready. Oh, that's not fair, George. No. You took advantage while my hands were tied. When Eklund pointed that gun at me, I thought I was going to die. I thought of all the things I'd never get to do. And kissing you was at the top of my list. George? Uh-huh? George, we've got to get off the train. Eklund could recover at any time. So what are we waiting for? I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? His handbag. Oh, great. If we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know half of it. This bag's full of C4. Wow. Why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C4? Plastic, Josh. We're going to shop our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic explosive. The detonator's broken now. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work that way. It takes a small explosion to start the big explosion. Well, that's not much use then. What does that sign say? Apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid-17th century, this place was used as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look at the state of this place, George. You work it out. Oh, stray spark? You got it. The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the Sword of Baphomet. Do you? I rather hope it did. I scrabbled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. It was caked with soil, but what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. It was short, hard, and black. Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a plastic pen top. The handle turned easily, and the larger wheel began to revolve. Damn! Then the handle came off in my hand. Now that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. The cog wouldn't fit that hole. The cog slipped neatly into the eye socket. With a rasp of metal on stone, I eased the second eye into place. I pushed the handle into the demon's mouth. The cogs all meshed. I began to turn. As soon as I saw the flickering torches, I realized the bogus Templars had beaten us to the sword. But where were they now? And why was it so quiet? Listen, I can definitely hear chanting. You're right. 
I hear it too. What do you suppose they're doing? It would unsurprise me if they were holding some kind of satanic sex ritual. So, what are we waiting for? Will you look at that? Baphomet. Lavano was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God, who'd revealed this place to them. Rosso! Why, the double-dealing treacherous? On the contrary, Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet, we salute and pledge our obedience to you. I salute you, Gatekeeper of the Temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. Fortunately, no harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like you. Join us, George. Join us in true brotherhood. Yeah. True? Wait. Brothers? What about Marquet? What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers. Only as failures. Three men dead and you don't give a damn! George! You know that sacrifices are necessary. Every great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Ah, oh, George. I had great hopes for you. C'est la guerre. Eklund. Kill him. If it isn't the great detective and his beautiful assistant, it's going to be a pleasure killing the pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do? Come on, Nico, we're leaving. You fools! You cannot escape us. 
Guido! Stop them. But master, the powder! That powder is from the English Civil War! You fool! He's over three hundred years old! How explosive do you think it can be? I thought it was all over, but Nico had one last trick up her sleeve. Or in her handbag, to be exact. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. We didn't stay long in Scotland. Georges had a vacation to finish, and I had another story to write. Not the real story, of course, but enough half-truths to fill a page and pay my rent for the month. George and I hung out together in Paris. I showed him my favorite restaurants, and he told me his best jokes. You know, Nico, this city holds so many memories for me now. The cafes, the music... The sewers. Tell me about it. The clowns. The jugglers. <laughs> and your pal Labano. Oh, yes, dear Andre. When we first met, and I was doing my detective stuff, you kind of disappeared a lot, Nico. Were you and Labano, uh... There was something happening, but nothing to do with Andre. Uh-huh. It was something from the past that I had to deal with, on my own. So, I dealt with it, and now it's over. Hey, did I ever tell you the one about the old Irish couple in the lottery? No, but I think you're going to. Okay, there's this old Irish couple. They've been married forever, like 50 years, and they win the lottery.